the title track you have Stevie Wonder on there. It seems like Stevie's always been a reoccurring theme throughout your whole career. Like you said, bumping the Stevie and <laughs> the Grammys. Yeah. 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 So like, how was that hooking up with him for that? And that was like a. How do, you, how do you ask for that? How do you right. get Stevie yeah. in your record? Yo, well, Stevie, I need you, man. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's like, I've been talking to him when I really did bump into him at the Grammys when he first, <laughs> wow. when he first um, you know, even knew to acknowledge that he knew who I was, I was just like, man, Stevie Wonder knows who I am. That's a, that's a big accomplishment right. in life. You know that? Um, but we stayed in contact to a certain degree and then he, he called me one day and was, Playing this instrument and singing a song and on the phone, and was like, "Man, I'm writing. I'm writing." I was like, "Man, I should come. I want to come by the studio and play you something." So I went by the studio and was like, "Man, it's the song I want you on." And he was like, he really liked it and was like, well, "What? It, what is it?" I, and I explained to him at the end. I was like, "This is us writing a new story." A new story. Keep on. Keep on. Got backstage and I bumped into Stevie. He said, No matter what, the people gon' see me. Do, do it if I did, do, do it if I did. I am doing it. I'm the C O double M O to the end. Yeah, 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 yeah,